John Wick kills the Avengers in the box office, that is. There's a lot to celebrate if you're a fan of the franchise. This is John Wick 3 Parabellum. Prepare for war. So, over the weekend, opening weekend, it uh, it grossed $56.74 million domestically. $92 million in its global debut. Now, I've heard of John Wick in the past. And when it first came out, part one, I didn't go watch it. Part two came out, I didn't go watch it. But it was on my radar to go watch. I got a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of people that I know was always raving about John Wick. And I like Keanu Reeves as an actor, you know. And, you know, he seemed like a pretty cool person in real life. That that helps. That helps. Um, so I went and I saw John Wick 3. Mind you, I have Movie Pass. And I know a lot of people have given up on Movie Pass. Um, it's a it's a movie uh, for the theater. It's a it's a it's a movie app where you can get. Uh, it used to be unlimited movies. You can go to the movies as as much as you want, just once a day. Then they switched that because people was abusing it, which I don't blame them. I mean, they 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 had some struggles, but um. So then they 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 switched the format to only three movies a month, just for the one price of nine ninety five or whatever the cost was. So it's still a still of a deal, and there were some issues where it wasn't working properly. But enough of that. I stuck with them. I'm still with Movie Pass, and I was able to use it. Um, I'm able to use it for movies and whatnot. So anyway, um, John Wick three was incredible. Um, I binge watched part one and part two uh, the week prior to the release of the movie, and um, I was thoroughly ple- I was thoroughly pleased. Um, part one, it did well. Part two did even better. Part three is doing massive, and the way that it ends without any spoilers, let's just say there's room for a part four. Definitely, definitely, a part four can be. Uh, made if they wanted to continue this franchise. Um, so uh, let me give you a little a, a back little background about it for those of you that uh, may not be too too familiar with John Wick. So let me let me give you a synopsis, <clears throat> a little little background story on it. All right, here we go. So. <clears throat> After gunning down a member of the High Table, the shadowy International Assassins Guild, legendary hitman John Wick finds himself stripped of the organization's protective services. Now stuck with a $14 million bounty on his head, John Wick must fight his way through the streets of New York as he becomes the target of the world's most ruthless killers. So that's the that's the synopsis. That's the plot line. He has to su- survive, but you know he can handle his own. But he's he's gonna need a little help. So, with that being said, Holly Berry's in this film, and she kicks a lot of booty. She kicks a lot of butt. Um, you know, and I'm not giving away any spoilers. This is all stuff that you can see in the trailer. This movie is worth checking out, especially if you're an action junkie. You enjoy going to the theater. It is action-packed to the brim. It has martial arts. It has knife fighting. It gets some some animals involved. I'm not going to give too much away, but there's some animals that it gets involved with the fighting. Uh, Obviously, they're going to have the guns blazing. uh, Hand-to-hand combat. Just everything you could think of is jam-packed in this movie. And it's a lengthy movie. It's not short. It's not crazy long, but it's not short. So you get your money's worth. And, uh, man, I would just say on a scale of 1 to 10, upon first watch, I give this a strong 8.5. The only reason I didn't give it a solid 10 is because there was parts where it's like, it's so much action going on. Nothing wrong with it, but just so much action going on that you almost get numb to it. You almost get like, damn. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of ass kicking going on. But uh, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, especially if you're a type of person that craves that. 
Oh, you're going to give it a straight 10. You're going to give it a straight solid 10. I give it an eight and a half. Um, there was a couple parts that, um, uh, you know, I wasn't too, too crazy about. And there was a character in there called the educator that, um, is played by Asia, Kate Dillon. Um, I wanted to see her character get down and dirty. I thought maybe she would like, you know, instead of just being an emissary or a messenger, I thought she would have a little bit more. Um, so I, again, I don't want to, uh, give away too much. She does, she does her thing. She does her thing, but I thought it would be a little bit more. Just put it that way. Uh, there was a pleasant surprise from, uh, the Iron Chef host, uh, what's his name? Mark, the, the cast, the Casto. He saved the movie in a lot of ways where it could have been dry, some dry spots. Um, but yeah, I, I better stop right now because I don't want to spoil it and give too much away. Check the movie out. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if you're an action, you know, an action film um, fanatic, what's your rating? Um, even if you, you're you not crazy about action films, you just like a good movie, a good storyline, and, um, you know, plot-driven um, story, let me know what you thought about it. Peace, love, smile, truth, galaxy. I'm Zachary. I see you. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Be kind to nature. The universe will support you. I'm up out of here, actually. I'm going to watch it again, and I will do a spoiler. Um, but yeah, John Wick, number one. Number one movie in the world right now. Finger snap. Kills the Avengers. <laughs> Thanos, you better not uh, and have his uh, his dog disappear. John Wick is going to be on you. All right, y'all. Peace.